Rokan 23. That's right. It is here. It's not back. It's here. It's the first one. Join the ultimate celebration of digital content with its creators, passionate fans, and industry experts. It is all happening in downtown Waco across multiple venues, January 20th through the 22nd of 2023. Now, if you want to go, you got to get tickets, and tickets are on sale at roguecon23.com. That's roguecon, R-O-G-U-E-C-O-N 23.com. Be there. I'm going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. Let's go. Hi, this is Haley, the face of Waco Girl Does. You're listening to No Waco. Um, welcome back to No Waco. I am your co-hostess with the Comosis, Haley, and I'm joined by a very special guest, Janitra. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, my name is Janitra White. I am a Waco native. Um, I'm a mom, wife, influencer, photographer, and most recently, author. Very cool. So you said you've lived in Waco your entire life? Yes. Born and raised. Um, I graduated from UT Austin. Oh, very cool. And lived in Dallas for a little while and then made my way back home. So what brought you back to Waco then? Mainly family. Okay. Um, This is where all of my family still is, my parents. And so... You just felt that kind of home pull there. Yeah. Okay. And it definitely helps when you're having kids and growing a family to have that support system. Yeah, of course. And so uh, you mentioned you're a mom. Tell me about yes. a little bit about your kiddos. Um, so between my husband and I, we have four kiddos under six. Um, well, we have three currently. We have one that's due in April. Oh, exciting. Um, so, uh, yeah, we are have a very busy household. Yeah, I can imagine. And so... You um, kind of run the gambit as far as like what you're what you're doing these days. You're a mom. You're an author. Um, you just published your book. That's so exciting. Um, you're an influencer. Tell me, like, take me through a day in your life um, doing all these things. Okay. Um, actually, like, I do a lot, but my life is pretty balanced right now. It's a, a little relaxed, and then it gets a little hectic at times. Um, I did um, open my photography studio. Uh, about a year ago, and so I'm usually there um, about two days a week. Uh, I have a, a limited schedule for that because I still want to have time for my kids and other things. Right, of course. Um, and so um, a, a usual day in my life is to get up, get the kids off to school, um, come back home with the, the little one. He's two. Um, if I'm going into the studio – I will uh, usually go in during the day. Um, I'm done in time to pick up our two girls from school. Uh, And then when I'm home in the evening, that's usually when I will get things done, um, either for the business or just personal things. Um, My husband is a big help around the house and with the kids, and and so we have a a nice balance with that. Um, And, um, yeah. Super cool. So, I mean, with all of your with all of your outlets that you are, you know, currently exploring, do you find it difficult to make time, or is that something that you have just laid those boundaries and you, you know, know exactly what you're doing at any point of the day? Um, it it's definitely something that I have to be conscious about, um, especially being my own boss and doing things like trying to prioritize. Um, my social media, the influencer aspect and brand deals and things like that. Um, and then obviously growing my photography business, which is kind of my number one right now. Um, and then now promoting my book. Um, my husband works at like a non-traditional schedule. And so a lot of the days that I have to get things done when he's home are not like traditional days that people will get things done. Uh, we really don't have weekends in our house. Um because he works, so I'm usually home with the kids on the weekend, so that kind of limits me. But uh, we have, like, a shared calendar. I'm very organized, detail-oriented. Right. Um, I'm very much so a planner. Um, he's not. But we have, like, a <laughs> joint <laughs> calendar, and so that kind of helps keep me sane, right. um, just itinerizing my day um, every day so that 
he knows what's going on so he can support me in those things. Um, and just so that I always know what's coming. That sounds like you guys have a pretty good push and pull. And, and I, I have learned the importance of a calendar as I've kind of <laughs> moved through adulthood. And um, yeah, like I think two years ago or so, I had a New Year's resolution to use a planner. And um, that has really changed my life. So I can uh, definitely attest to that. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned your book a couple of times. Um, you recently published. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, tell me a bit about that. Um, so my book is called Girl, Do Your Thing. Um, it's from single mom to super boss. And it just kind of tells the trajectory of uh, my life over the last couple of years and my transformation um, from being uh, starting out as a single mother and a public school teacher. I taught um, public school Spanish for seven years. Oh, wow. And um, just transitioning into... Um, just kind of building and manifesting this life that I, that I live now that I love, um, with my husband, my family, uh, being my own boss, um, you know, running my photography studio and empowering women through that. Um, and it's just kind of, I call it like my survival guide for women, um, yeah. who either want to get out of their nine to five or they, they want to find, um, a love that works for them um, or they just want to build a different life than what they're currently living. Um, I talk a lot about uh, my journey of being debt free um, and, um, you know, finances and saving money and things like that. Um, and so it's just kind of it's my first book. So uh, I just wanted to make it like an all around um, women guide for women. Yeah. basically. Um, and actually today. Um, I just got the notification this morning that it was ready. Um, my planner and budgeter that I created to accompany my book just launched this morning. Very so that's cool. now available um, on Amazon as well. Rokon 23. That's right. It is here. It's not back. It's here. It's the first one. Join the ultimate celebration of digital content with its creators, passionate fans, and industry experts. It is all happening in downtown Waco across multiple venues, January 20th through the 22nd of 2023. Now, if you want to go, you got to get tickets, and tickets are on sale at roguecon23.com. That's roguecon, R-O-G-U-E-C-O-N 23 Dot com. Be there. I'm going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. Let's go. We were talking about your book. Yes. Um, and I just wanted, I don't want to share everything, of course, because we want people to buy your book. Yeah. Um, but is there one tip from uh, your book that you would like to uh, share with the listeners? Um. Um, so one of the main things that I talk about in my book is not letting our circumstances define us, um, and not letting a certain vision that other people have for, um, what a single woman should do, what a married woman should do, what a mother should do, yeah. not letting those things define us. And so one of the chapters, um, I talk about, um, as a single mother and a teacher, when I bought my first house. And a lot of the feedback that I got about that, um, you know, I've always been kind of an overachiever, wanted, you know, a lot more. And um, a lot of comments that I got when I was going through that process were, you know, are you sure that you're going to be able to handle this type of investment as a single mom? Right. It, you know, do you think this is too much house for just you and your daughter? Um, you don't want to wait for your husband to, to make this big purchase. What if, yeah. what if you meet someone and he doesn't like it? And, um, and so I really had to silence those thoughts um, because at that time I had just reconciled with being a single mother. And I was like, this is my life and I want to live it to the fullest. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to wait around on what ifs or, you know, when that time comes, then, you know, we'll see where that goes. And, um, and so, and when I met my husband, um, since I, I already own my home, we actually like started our, our family in that home. And mm -hmm. 
you know, fast forward to now, we sold that home, we bought our next dream home, you know, um, and we're making new memories. Um, but I'm just glad that I didn't let those that negative feedback, even though people were well intentioned in it, like they right, thought they yeah. were helping. Um, I'm just glad that I didn't let that, you know, define me or, or change what I wanted to do. Um, and I see like a lot of women that that do that. And so I have a lot of friends that, you know, I try to encourage them, you know, they're single and I'm like, girl, you can still whatever you want, like go out there and get it. Yeah. You don't need to wait on somebody to build what you want to build. Exactly. Yeah. And that's got to feel so empowering for you just to um, put that story down to paper. Yeah. Um, that's I mean, just like as a young married person, um, you know, that's something that I've had to, um, you know, like come to on my own that I just needed to start living my life the way I want to right, right now. And, you know, just because, um, you know, I'm married, that doesn't mean that my life is over, you right. know, um, especially getting married as young as I did. But, um, you know, that was what we wanted to do. And, and we had to silence those thoughts. And yeah. um, I definitely love that, um, that little anecdote there. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you are doing it all. You got a little little one on the way. You've <laughs> released a book. What more can you do in 2022? Um, well, uh, actually, this year I'm doing a campaign um, at my studio. It's called the 30 Over 30 Campaign. Yeah. And so um, um, I've been seeking out women um, or anywhere between the age of 30 and 100. Um, I would love to find, you know, a 90-year-old woman um, to photograph as a part of this, um, and just sharing their stories. Um, I think that women are so multifaceted. Um, and a lot of women, we get so caught up in just the day to day and the rat race and the grind that we stop kind of seeing ourselves as who we are or who, you know, we're kind of like a shell of the person that we once were. Um, or, you know, women become so consumed by their titles you know, mom, businesswoman, teacher, whatever that may be. Um, and so as a part of the project, um, each woman gets a, a makeover in my studio a day fully for themselves. Um, they get hair, makeup, you know, pampered in the studio, um, a session. I have a closet full of beautiful client gowns that um, they get to step into, um, which is interesting because like even some women that I've had join this campaign are, you know, um, bodybuilders or ranchers, and it's something that's so different from how Their they how they yeah. are day to day. Um, and then they just get to see themselves as this powerful, you know, bold woman. Um, and so it's been really rewarding so far. Um, we've we've done a couple sessions so far. I have several more scheduled out through the uh, next couple of months, but it's just been really fulfilling to see. Um, just the reaction of a woman when she comes in for her photo reveal and she gets to see those images of herself for the first time. Um, and just that the inner woman, you know, that's being portrayed on camera. Yeah. And that's actually how I, um, found you. I don't know if I've ever told you that, but, um, you came up on my explore page and it was, um, uh, just uh, like a, one of your 30 over 30 mm -hmm. campaigns. And I just remember just having my breath taken away. Um, I love that you're like, like there's something so empowering. I, and I think that's just like a theme of, of, you know, this conversation, but just of what you bring to the table as an influencer is female empowerment. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, I love that. I think it's um, definitely something that we need more of. Um, in the society, and especially for women over 30. Um, yeah. You know, I, I think that we hear a lot about, like, you know, like, oh, you got to do this before you're 30. Mm -hmm. You got to do whatever before you're 30. But, like, you have so much life to yeah. live. Yeah. Um, so I definitely think that's, like, a really cool project that you have going on. Yeah. Um, so um, I think that's all I have for you today. Um, okay. Let everyone know where you can find you and okay. where they can uh, order this book to change their life, hopefully. Okay. Um, my main social media is my Instagram, which is at Janitra, G-E-N-E-T-R-A. Um, and you can find me online anywhere under Janitra White. Um, my photography website is JanitraWhite.com. My book, Girl, Do Your Thing, and the planner uh, that just launched today are both available on Amazon. Um
Very cool. And uh, before I let you go, what is one thing that you would like Waco to know about Genitra? Um, um, one thing that I would like Waco to know about me is um, just that I, I moved back here, you know, to, to put down my roots and raise my family. And so um, I really seek to um, be a positive part of this community and really do that through em- empowering women um, who are at different stages of life. Um, yeah. I mean, and, and I think you're doing a great job. I, I love your content. Everyone make sure to uh, go follow Janitra. Um, and I hope that everyone has a great week. This has been Haley. I'm signing off. Tune in every Friday for all of the events and activities. Now that you know Waco, just go. Go, Waco. Join the ultimate celebration of digital content with its creators, passionate fans, and industry experts. It's all happening in downtown Waco across multiple venues on January 20th through the 22nd, 2023. Tickets are on sale now at roguecon23.com.